Hey everybody, Erica Sorwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a friendly gnome card today. It's kind of a Valentine themed card, but it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. It says there's gnome one better than you. The friendly gnome stamp set is from the spring 2023 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and it coordinates with the gnome dies that were in the fall catalog, but carried over. Um, if you already have these dies that went with a different stamp set in the fall, now you have a second stamp set that you can use with your dies. Um, if you don't have the dies, they are also still available. Okay, let's make our little cute gnome first. I love gnomes. I always have. When my kids were little, there was a gnome cartoon movie. Some of you may know what I'm talking about, and I loved it. And I still love gnomes. I have gnome decorations at Halloween and Valentine's Day. Really cute gnomes. And I have a cute gnome on my front porch too. They are just my favorite. All right, I'm gonna color him. I'm gonna pull my chair up. I don't know about you guys, but I don't color very well standing up and I stand up when I make my videos. All right, we're gonna start with Balmy Blue. And I'm gonna color his hat with Balmy Blue. And I'm gonna go all over the hat with Balmy Blue Light. Um, you really have a multitude of colors, but this paper that we're using that is called the Country Lane Floral Designer Series Paper, um, Balmy Blue is one of the colors in the paper, and I feel like it goes really well. It's a nice, soft, um, you know, combination with Sweet Sorbet. So that's what I'm sticking with, but you, of course, can use whatever you want. Now, I'm taking my dark... Um, balmy blue and I'm adding dark over here on the left side of his hat and then I'm gonna add some dark there where those lines are and then there would be a little bit of a shadow right there as well all right and then you could take your light and go back and blend those colors out so it's kind of a smooth transition now I'm gonna take my light um, balmy blue and I'm he's gonna I'm just keeping it simple he's gonna wear he's got blue clothes on and brown shoes I, I really like when cards aren't too busy with color so I try to limit my colors so it doesn't get too wild and crazy okay I think we've got it covered with the balmy blue now we're gonna do his let's do his well we'll do his nose first his nose and his hands and I'm just using petal pink we have a variety of colors you could use for skin tones depending on what you prefer now for his beard you could leave it white if you want um, he could be an old gnome with a white beard <laughs> or you can use crumb cake which is what I'm using here you could use an orange if you want him to be a ginger blonde he could be blonde I mean really he could have a purple beard if you wanted right I mean he's a gnome there's no right or wrong here, but I'm just gonna stick with a neutral, this crumb cake. So light crumb cake, and then I'm gonna take my dark crumb cake, and I'm gonna add in some shadow. Um, wherever anything overlaps, that's where there would be a shadow. So the hat overlaps, the heart overlaps, and then the this little arm right here overlaps. I'm gonna add a little bit of color down. Also, where all those little lines are, you can add some color. And then I'm gonna go back with my light and just blend it all together. All right. There we go. Now for his shoes, again, I'm going with a neutral and I'm just gonna use soft suede, which is a darker brown than our crumb cake. You know, he could have red shoes. You could make his shoes match his heart but I like the way the heart just kind of pops out against those softer colors. Okay, now I'm gonna take my dark Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet is the color we are using on our card, card stock and designer series paper, so that's the color I'm using here. I'm using the dark because I just really want it to be a dark, solid red. And then I'm gonna take my uh, Wink of Stella and add some shimmer there to that heart. Okay, we're ready to cut them out. Remember these gnome dies match our gnomes. We have three different gnomes in the stamp set, three different gnome dies in the die set. 
actually there's four gnomes in the die set. There's one you can use um, without stamping. You could just use colored cardstock and he's really cute. Okay, so we've got our little dude and let's put the rest of our card together. This is really an easy card. I actually made this as a swap card. When I do swaps, I really try to keep it simple because you're making a lots of them. Um, so this one is definitely an, a simple card. Now I have a piece of this. Here's that paper I was telling you about, the Country Lane Designer Series paper. I'm gonna put that on a basic white mat. And then I'm gonna take some dimensionals, one for each corner. And we'll just center that in the middle of our card base. Now there's gonna be a free PDF over on my blog. So if you click the link here on YouTube, you will find it. It'll have the measurements and the supply list. Now I have used our stitched scallop border here on our basic white piece. And I'm gonna put another piece of that Country Lane Floral Designer Series paper right there in the middle. And we'll put that <clears throat> right there. Okay. Now we're gonna emboss the sentiment on this uh, basic black stitched banner. All right, the first thing that you want to do is use your embossing buddy to remove any static that's there on your piece. And then I'm gonna take just Versamark and I'm gonna kind of center it, but more towards the right. Now, Versamark is a clear ink, so you won't see it until you put these this embossing powder on it. All right, there we go. There's no gnome one better than you. Grab your heat tool. And once you see it all turn that bright white color, you'll know that it's done. Okay, let's bring over some dimensionals. We're gonna put that kind of over to the right side. I've got a stitched circle here from our, also from our stylus shape dies. And I'm gonna slide that under like that. All right, and then we'll get our little dude our little Valentine. And we'll put him right there. Now let's embellish this card. I've got some sweet sorbet Baker's twine. The thing I love the most about Stampin' Up! is our cor color coordination. If you have sweet sorbet paper, you know that the sweet sorbet ink, the sweet sorbet markers, the sweet sorbet embellishments, they're all gonna coordinate perfectly. It really takes the guesswork out of trying to get your products to, to match. All right, there we go. Now I've got some matte black dots. I'm gonna use the putty end of my Take Your Pick tool. And we're just gonna put a few around here and we'll put one down here. Well, let's see if we could get that on right. Oh, did it lose its sticky? It did, okay. Let's try that again, there we go. And there you have it, an easy, fun little Valentine card to give anybody. It doesn't say I love you, right? So it could really go to anyone. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.